Hansen. <clears throat> today is going to be an amazing day, and here's why. Because, because today, um, all you have to do is just be yourself. But also confident, that's important and interesting, like easy to talk to, approachable, but mostly be yourself. That's the big, like that's number one, be yourself. Just, um, <laughs> just be true to yourself. <laughs> also though, don't worry about whether your hands are going to get sweaty for no reason and you can't make it stop no matter what you do, because, because they're not going to get sweaty, so you don't even know why you're bringing it up, because it's not going to happen, because you're just, all you have to do is just be yourself. <laughs> I'm not even going to worry about it though, seriously, because it's not like, it's, it's, it's not going to be like that time when you had the perfect chance to introduce yourself to Zoe Murphy at the jazz band concert last year, when you waited afterwards just to talk to her and tell her how good she was, and, and you were going to pretend to be like super casual, like you didn't even know her name, like she would introduce herself, and then you'd be like, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, Chloe, you said your name was Chloe, and then she'd be like, no, it's Zoe, I said Zoe, and then you'd be like, oh, well, see, I thought you said Chloe because I'm just, I'm very busy with other stuff right now, so thanks. But, <laughs> you didn't even end up saying anything to her anyways, because you were scared that your hands were sweaty, which they weren't that sweaty until you started worrying that they were sweaty, which made them sweaty. So you put them under the hand dryer in the bathroom, but then they were still sweaty. They were just very warm now as well. So you just decided not to eat last night. I wasn't hungry. You're a senior in high school, Evan. You need to be able to order dinner for yourself if I'm at work. You can do it all online now. You don't have to talk to anyone on the phone. And now you don't like the phone. Okay, but see, that's not true, actually. You have to talk to the delivery person when they come to the door. And then they have to make change. You have to stand there while it's silent and they're counting the change. Okay, this is what you're supposed to be working on, Evan, with Dr. Sherman talking to people, engaging with people, not running away from people. You're right, I'm going to be a lot better. I know. <laughs> I know, I know you are, and that's why I made you an appointment with Dr. Sherman for this afternoon. I'll pick you up after school. I already have an appointment next week. And I thought maybe you could use something a little bit sooner. Hey, have you been writing those letters he wants you to do? You know, the letters to yourself, little, little pep talks. Dear Evan Hansen, this is going to be a good day, and here's why. Have you been doing those? Yeah, I started writing one. I'll finish it at school. Those letters are important, honey. They're going to help you build your confidence. Seize the day. I got it. I don't want another year of you sitting at home on your computer every Friday night telling me you have no friends. Neither do I. Can we try to have an optimistic outlook? Huh? Can we fuck up just enough to see the world won't fall apart? Maybe this year we decide we're not giving up before we've tried. This year we make a new start. I know, you can go around today and ask the other kids to sign your cast. How about that? Oh, come on, that'd be the perfect icebreaker, wouldn't it? Perfect. I'm proud of you already. Oh, good. <laughs> for the scrapbook. Another stumble as I'm preaching for the right thing to say. Well, I'm kind of coming up empty. Can't find my way to you. Does anybody have a map? Anybody maybe happen to know how the hell to do this? I don't know if you can tell that this isn't me. Just pretending. No, so where's the map? I need a clue. Cause the scary truth is I'm flying by. I'd go tomorrow. I'm trying to find a compromise here. I'm going to get involved here. You're too busy on your email, Larry. You have to go to school, Connor. That's all you're going to say. What, what do you want me to say? He doesn't listen. Look at him. He's not listening. He's probably high. He's definitely high. Fuck you! Fuck you! I do not need you picking at your brother right now. That is not constructive. Are you kidding? Besides, he's not high. Are you oh. high? I don't want you going to school high, Connor. We have talked about this. Perfect, so then I won't go. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Another masterful attempt ends with disaster. The interstate's already jammed. Or another cup of coffee and watch it all crash. Connor finished the mill. It's a puzzle. It's a maze. I try to steer through it a million ways. But each day, another hunter. I better head out. Connor's not ready. I'm leaving without him.
time was productive. I did three internships and 90 hours of community service. <laughs> I know, wow. <laughs> Even though I was so busy, I still made some great friends, or well, acquaintances, more like. Do you want to maybe, that's, um, I'm sorry, I don't know what your, um, if you have to, do you want to just sign my castle? Oh my god, what happened to your arm? Oh, well, I broke it. I was climbing a oh, tree. really? My grandma broke her hip getting into the bathtub in July. That was the beginning of the end, the doctor said, because then she died. <laughs> Happy first day. Is it weird to be the first person in history to break their arm from jerking off too much? Or do you <laughs> consider that an honor? Stop, no, I didn't. I wasn't, I wasn't doing that. Paint me the picture. You're in your bedroom, you've got Zoe Murphy's Instagram up on your weird off-brand cell phone. Shh, that's not what happened, obviously. I was just, well, I was climbing a tree, and I fell. <laughs> you fell out of a tree? What are you, like... An acorn? Oh. <laughs> well, I was, I don't know if you know this, but I worked this summer as an apprentice park ranger um, at Ellison State Park. I'm sort of a tree expert now. I mean, not to brag. <laughs> anyway, I, um, I tried to climb this 40 foot tall oak tree. And then you fell. Well, except it's, it's a funny story, though, because there was a solid 10 minutes after I fell where I just lay there um, on the ground waiting for someone to come get me. I was just, any second now, you know, I kept. I was, I was saying to myself, any second now, here they come. <laughs> Did they? No, nobody came. That's the, um, that's what's funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was, what did you do for the... You had a good summer? Well, my bunk dominated in Capture the Flag, and I got to second base below the bra with this girl from Israel who's going to like, be in the army, so... Yeah. Hopefully yeah, that answers your question. Hey, do, do you want to sign my cast? Why are you asking me? Well, I just, I thought... Because we're friends. We're family <laughs> friends. That's like a whole different thing than you know it. Hey. Tell your mom to tell my mom that I was nice to you, or else my parents won't pay for my car insurance. <laughs> hey, Connor! Loving the new hair length. Very school shooter chic. <laughs> I was just kidding. Was it a joke? Yeah, no, it was funny. I'm laughing, can't you tell? <laughs> Am I not laughing hard enough for you? You're such a freak. What the fuck are you laughing at? What? Stop fucking laughing at Hold me! On, I'm not... You think I'm a freak? No, I, I don't... I'm not the freak! But I wasn't laughing You're the fucking freak! I've learned to slam on the brake Before I even turn the key Before I make the mistake Before I leave with the worst of me Definitely like jazz band jazz, that's so weird, I'm sorry. You apologize a lot. Sorry, I mean, you know what I mean. Okay, well, you don't want to sign my class, do you? What? what? What'd you say? I didn't say anything, you said something. No, I, me? No way. Jose? Jose? We start with stars in our eyes. We start believing that we belong.
And there's nobody around Do you ever really crash or even make a sound? When you're flying in a forest And there's nobody around Do you ever really crash or even make a sound? wasn't an amazing day after all. <laughs> um, this isn't going to be an amazing week or an amazing year, because because why would it be? Oh, I know, I know, because there's Zoe, and all my hope is pinned on Zoe, who I don't even know, <laughs> and who doesn't know me, but, you know, maybe, maybe if I did, maybe if I could just talk to her, then maybe, maybe nothing would be different at all. I wish everything was different. I wish I was part of uh, something. I wish that um, anything I said uh, mattered to anyone. I mean, face it, would anyone even notice if I just disappeared tomorrow? <clears throat> uh, sincerely, your best and most dearest friend, me. When you're falling in a forest and there's nobody around, do you ever really crash or even make a sound? When you're falling in a forest and there's nobody around, do you ever really crash or even make a sound? So, um, what happened to your arm? Oh, it, um, I fell out of a tree, actually. Fell out of a tree? Yeah. Well, that is just the saddest fucking thing I've ever heard. Oh my god, I know. Um, no one's um, signed your cast. No, I know. Well, I'll sign. <laughs> oh, you, you don't have to. Do you uh, have a Sharpie? <coughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, great, thanks. <laughs> yeah, well, now we can both pretend that we have friends. That's good. Good point. Is this yours? Um, I found it on the printer. It's, it's, uh, Dear Evan Hansen, that's your name, oh, right? Yeah, no, 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 that's just a stupid, it's just this paper that I had to write, so it's, it's for an assignment. Because there's Zoe. Is this about my sister? No, not at all. You wrote this because you knew that I would find it. What? 
Yeah, you, uh, you saw that I was the only other person in the computer lab, so you wrote this and you printed this out so that I would find it. Why, um, why would I So I could it? read some creepy shit you wrote about my sister and freak out, right? And then you can tell everybody that I'm crazy! What? Right, no, I don't! You. No, 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 but I really, I need that back, so please, can you just, can you please give it back? A letter to yourself? What the crap does that even mean? It's like some kind of sex thing? No, no, it's not a sex thing. It was an assignment. Why are you talking to me about this? Well, I didn't know who else to talk to. You're my only family friend. <laughs> I don't know what to do, okay? He stole the letter from me three days ago, and then he just... He hasn't been at school since. That does not bode well for you. <coughs> What's he gonna do with it? Who knows? Connor Murphy is bat shit out of his mind. Remember he threw a printer at Mrs. G in second grade because he didn't get to be the line leader that day? Do you think he's gonna show the letter to other people? He's gonna ruin your life with it. For sure. I mean, <coughs> I would. On the outside, always looking in, will I ever be more than I've always been? Cause I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass. Waving through a window. Good morning. Um, is Mr. Howard? Sorry. Um, I'm sorry, um, just they said on the loudspeaker for me to go to the principal's office. Uh, Mr. Howard stepped out. <laughs> uh, we wanted to speak with you in private. If you'd like to, maybe. We're, uh. We're Connor's parents. Oh. Why don't you go ahead, honey? I'm going as fast as I can. That's not what I said, is it? We never heard your name before, Connor never. And then we saw Dear Evan Hansen. He, <clears throat> he gave this to you? We didn't know you two were friends. Friends? We didn't think Connor had any friends. And then we see this, this letter, <clears throat> and it seems to suggest pretty clearly that you and Connor were, or at least for Connor, that he thought of you as. I mean, it's right there, Dear Evan Hansen. It's addressed to you. He wrote it to you. You think that this, um, you think that Connor wrote this to me? These are the words he wanted to share with you. His last words. This is what he wanted you to have. I'm, I'm sorry, what do you mean, last words? Connor, uh, Connor took his own life. Hey, what? And this is all we found with him. He had it folded up in his pocket. And you could see that he was, that he was trying to explain it, why he was, I wish that everything was different. I wish I were a part of something. I wish what I said mattered. To Mary, me. please stop it. Okay, but that's this is not. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Connor. Uh, Connor didn't write this. What does that mean? Uh, Connor. Connor didn't. He didn't write this. What does he mean? He's obviously in shock. No, no, no. I just he didn't. He didn't. Right here. I'm sorry, but I should probably just say, please go now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should go now. This is all we have. This is the only thing we have. This is the only thing we have. Listen to me, please. Cynthia! You should just, you should take it, please, please. Larry, look, his cast. Oh. His best and most dearest friend. Holy shit! <laughs> I didn't say anything. I mean, I just, I, I just, I couldn't say anything. Holy fucking shit! They invited me for dinner. They want to know more stuff about Connor and me, about our friendship. Still can't believe the terrible news about at Connor Murphy. What are you gonna tell them? I mean the truth. I wouldn't say that we were friends exactly. More like acquaintances. The truth. Really. You're gonna go to the Murphy's house and explain that the only thing they have left of their son is some weird sex letter that you wrote to yourself. <laughs> we were in chemistry together, I'm pretty sure. You know, you could go to jail for this if you get caught. I didn't do anything. He was also, he was in my English class in 10th grade. I'm almost positive. Yeah, I hate to tell you this, Evan, but you may have already perjured yourself. Isn't that only when you're under oath, like in a courtroom? Well, weren't you under oath, in a way? No. <laughs> 
hungry. Yeah, he was definitely in my English class. Look, do you want to listen to me, or do you want to have another meltdown like last year in English, when you were supposed to give that speech about Daisy Buchanan, but instead you just stood there staring at your note cards, saying, um, 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 over and over again, like you were having a brain aneurysm. Okay, what do you expect me to do, just keep lying? I didn't say lie. All you have to do is just nod and confirm. Whatever they say about Connor, you just nod your head, and you say, yeah, that's true. Don't contradict and don't make shit up. It's foolproof. Literally nothing I tell my parents is true, and they have no idea. <laughs> Three days ago, Connor Murphy was here, and now, now he's gone. They were so sad, his parents. His, his mom was just... I've never seen anyone so sad before. Well, then, good thing you're about to tell her the truth about your sex letter. I'm sure that will cheer her right up. If Connor meant something to you, please retweet or private message me if you just want to talk. At times like these, we can all use a friend. Would anyone else like more chicken? I think you're the only one with an appetite, Larry. The Harris has brought it over. Did Connor tell you about the Harris's? <laughs> to go skiing together, our families. Connor loves skiing. Connor hated skiing. Right, that's sorry, that's what I meant. Connor loved to, um, talking about how much he hated skiing. But you guys, you hung out a lot? Pretty much. Where? You mean like where did we... Well, mostly we hung out um, at my house. I mean, sometimes we would come to, um, to his house if, if nobody else was here. We would, um, we would email a lot though, mostly, so that we didn't have to, um, he didn't always want to hang out, uh, in person, you know? No, we looked through his emails, there aren't any from you. Yeah, no, no, yeah, of course, yes, that's because, um, that's because he had a different account, um, it was a, it was a secret account, I should have said that before, that was, that was probably very confusing. Why was it secret? Just so that no one else could, um, it was, it was more private, I guess, that way. He knew you read his emails. Somebody had to be the bad guy. Okay, the weird thing is, the only time I ever saw you and my brother together was when he shoved you at school last week. He shoved you? No, I, I tripped. Oh, I was there. I saw the whole thing. He pushed you hard. Oh, I, I remember now. See, that it was a misunderstanding because because the thing was, he didn't, he didn't want us to talk at school, and I had tried to, well, to talk to him at school. It wasn't a big thing. It was, it was my, my fault. Why didn't he want you to talk to him at school? He didn't really want people to know that we were friends. I, I guess he was embarrassed a little. Why would he be embarrassed? Well, I guess because he thought I was sort of, you know. A nerd. So we... Isn't that what you meant? The loser I was going to say, actually, but nerd works too. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very nice. Well, Connor wasn't very nice, so that makes sense. Connor was... He was a complicated person. No, Connor was a bad person. There's a difference. Joey, please. Don't pretend like you don't agree with me. You refuse to see any of the good things. You refuse to remember the good things. What were the good things? I don't things. want to have this conversation in front of our kids. What were the good things, Mom? Tell there me. There were good things. I remember a lot of good things about Connor. <laughs> like what? Never mind. I'm so sorry. No, I shouldn't no, have. No, no, no. Never mind. Saying something. No, no, no. It doesn't matter, really. Yes, we want to hear what you have to say. Yeah. Please. Well, I just... Uh, Connor and I, we, um... <coughs> we had a really great time together. This one day recently. Um, that's something good I remember about Connor. That's, that's what I keep thinking about. Um, that, that day at the... Um, at the Apple's... The, the apples place. Anyways, I knew that it was stupid. I don't even know why I brought it up. So took you to the orchard? Yes, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. When? Once, um, just that once, but he said that the apples there were the best. I thought that place closed years ago. Exactly, which is why just we were so bummed when we got there. It's, <laughs> it's completely, it's closed down now. So. You used to go to the orchard all the time. We do picnics there, remember that, Zoe? Yeah, I do. You and Connor had that little toy plane that you would fly until you flew it into the creek. That, that was an emergency landing. <laughs> I can't believe it took you there. 
bet that was fun. I bet you too. I bet you had fun. Yeah, yes. We did. The, the whole day was just end of May or early June. This this picture perfect afternoon we should. What was the name of that ice cream place out there that we loved? A la mode. <laughs> That's it. A la mode, and they had that homemade half fudge. Drive the winding country road. Grab a scoop at a la mode, and then we're there. <laughs> We'd sit in that meadow with all the sycamores, and you and your brother would look for four leaf clovers. An open field that's framed with trees. We pick a spot and shoot the breeze like buddies do. Quoting songs by our favorite bands, telling jokes no one understands except us two. And we talk and take in the view. All we see is sky for forever. We let the world pass by for forever. Feels like we could go on for forever this way. Two friends on a perfect day. I've completely forgotten about that place. <laughs> I guess Connor didn't. <laughs> We walk a while and talk about the things we'll do when we get out of school. <laughs> uh, uh, like the Appalachian Trail, or, or write a book, or learn to sail, wouldn't that be cool? There's nothing that we can't discuss, like girls we wish would notice us, but never do. <laughs> he looks around and says to me, there's nowhere else I'd rather be, and I say, me too. And we talk and and take in the view. We just talk and take in the view. All we see in the sky for forever. We let the world pass by for forever. Feels like we could go on for forever this way. Day. And there he goes, racing toward the tallest tree. From far across the yellow field, I hear him calling, follow me. <laughs> there we go, wondering how the world might look from up so high. One foot after the other, one branch, then to another. I climb higher and higher, I climb till the entire sun shines on my face.
parents think you were lovers, you realize that, right? What? How did they think that? Um, you were best friends, but he wouldn't let you talk to him at school, and when you did, he kicked your ass. That's, like, the exact formula for secret gay high school lovers. Oh my god. This is what I told you! What did I tell you? You just nod and confirm. Okay, well, I tried to, but I just, you don't understand, I got nervous, and then I started talking, and then once I started, I just... You couldn't stop. Well, they didn't want me to stop. So, what else did you completely fuck up? Nothing, <laughs> seriously. Uh, I mean, I told them we wrote emails. Okay. Emails? Yes, I told them that Connor and I, or, um, well, that Connor had a secret email account. Oh, right! One of those secret email accounts. Sure, for sending pictures of your penises to each other. <laughs> Yeah, so I said you had the secret account and that we would send emails to each other. I mean, honestly, could you be any worse at this? You're gonna want to see our emails! The thing! What am I gonna do? I can do emails. How? It's easy! You make an account, backdate the emails. There's a reason I was the only CIT with keycard access to the computer cluster this summer. I have skills, son. You would do that? For two grand. Two thousand dollars? Five hundred. I can give you twenty. Fine, but you're a dick. <laughs> hey, you. I have very exciting news. Look, look what I found online today. College scholarship essay contest. You ever hear of these? I think so. NPR did a whole thing about it this morning. There's a million different ones you can do. A million different topics. <laughs> I spent my whole lunch break looking these up. Like, uh, John F. Kennedy profile encouraged scholarship. $3,000 college of your choice. Henry David Thoreau Society. $5,000. What? College is going to be so great for you, honey. How many times in life you get the chance to just start all over again? No, I know. You got so much. You have so many wonderful things ahead of you. High school isn't all. The only people who like high school are cheerleaders and football players. And those people all end up miserable anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to find yourself in college. I really think so. Wish I could go with you. <laughs> <laughs> Seemed like a neat idea. Yeah, no, it is, for sure. Well, you've always been a wonderful writer. <laughs> and we're gonna need all the help we can get for college. Unless your stepmother has a trust fund for you, I don't know about, with all those fabulous tips she made, cocktail waitressing. <laughs> hey, I, uh, I got an email from your school today about a, about a boy who killed himself, Connor Murphy. I didn't, um, I had no idea. Oh yeah. <clears throat> well, I did. I didn't really know him. You know that. Huh? If you ever, if you ever want to talk about anything, I realize that lately it must feel like I'm always working or I'm at school. It's fine. Well, I'm here, you know. <coughs> and if I'm not here, here, I'm a phone call away or a text, email, whatever. Thanks. All right, it says Connor on here. Oh, oh, yeah, no, no, no. You said you didn't know. No, I didn't. I didn't. This is a, um, it's a different, it's a different Connor. I'm so worried. Oh, no, no, sure. You know what? How about I bag my shift next Tuesday? I mean, when's the last time we did a Taco Tuesday? No, 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 you don't have to. <laughs> no, come on. You've been back at school a week already, and I've barely seen you. Maybe we could start brainstorming those essay questions together, huh? That'd be great. <laughs> great. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> I'm excited now. <laughs> something, to, something to look forward to. Me too. You okay on refills? Yes. Don't stay up too late. I won't. I love you. Love you too. talk that much, but I should tell you that I think of you each night. I rub my nipples and start moaning with delight. Why would you write that? <laughs> I'm just trying to tell the truth.
Dude, you know what? If you're not going to take this seriously, okay, then just... Okay, you need to calm yourself. Look, this has to be perfect to pay the emails have to prove that we were actually friends. They've got to be completely realistic. There's nothing unrealistic about the love that one man feels for another. <laughs> Let's go back. In fact, someone said there's something quite beautiful. Let's go back, Jared. I gotta tell you, life without you has been hard. Hard? Has been bad. Bad. Has been rough. I and I miss talking about life and other stuff. Very specific. Shut up. I like my parents. Who says that? I love my parents, but each day is another fight. If I stop smoking drugs, then everything might be alright. Smoking drugs. Just fix it. <laughs> this isn't realistic at all. It doesn't even sound like Connor. Well, I want to show that I was a good friend, that I was that I was trying to help him, you know? Oh my god. If I stop smoking crack, crack. Uh. If I stop smoking pot, then everything might be alright. I'll take your advice. I'll try to be more nice. I'll turn it around. Wait and see. So all that it takes is a little reinvention. It's easy to change if you give it your attention. All you gotta do is just believe. I mean, I can't just show them one email. Okay, please stop hyperventilating. No, I'm not hyperventilating. You're having considerable trouble breathing. No, I'm having, I'm having no... Do you need a paper bag? No, I'm not hyperventilating! Dear Connor Murphy, yes, I also miss our talks. Stop doing drugs, just try to take deep breaths and go on walks. No! I'm sending pictures of the most amazing trees. No! You'll be obsessed with all my forest expertise. Absolutely not! Dude, I'm proud! Turning around, I can see. Just wait and see. Cause all that it takes is a little bit of It's easy to change if you give it your attention. All you gotta do is just believe you can be who you wanna be. Sincerely, my sister's hot. What the hell? My bad. I should probably go. You're not staying for dinner? Oh, I just, I hadn't planned on it. 
then we can do another night. I can cook something for you. No, no, no you don't have it to. It would be my pleasure. We would love to have you. Why don't I show you out? Thanks. So, how was the band today? I bet they're happy to have you back, huh? You really don't have to do this, okay? Mm -hmm. Do what? Just because Connor isn't here trying to punch through my door screaming at the top of his lungs that he's going to kill me for no reason, that doesn't mean that all of a sudden we're the fucking Brady Bunch. We are all grieving in our own way. I know how much you miss your brother. We all do. <coughs> you can read these when you're ready. Second-hand sorrow, such a great son and wonderful friend. Oh, don't the tears just pour? I could curl up and hide in my room, there in my bed, still sobbing tomorrow. I could give in to all of the gloom and tell me, tell me why.
How is everything? Oh, fine, thanks. Thank God. Jared's been telling everyone about you and Connor, how close you guys were, how you were best friends. Oh. Everybody's talking about how brave you've been this week. They are? I mean, anybody else in your position would be falling apart. Dana P. was crying so hard at lunch yesterday, she pulled a muscle in her face. <laughs> she had to go to the hospital. Isn't Dana P. new this year? She didn't even know Connor. That's why she was crying. Because now, she'll never get the chance. <laughs> Connor's really bringing the school together. It's pretty incredible. People I've never talked to before, they want to talk to me now because they know how much Connor meant to me. It's very inspiring. I actually started a blog about him, like a sort of memorial page. Were you friends with Connor too? Acquaintances. But close acquaintances. <laughs> Can I tell you something? I think part of me always knew that you guys were friends. You did a good job of hiding it, but I don't know. I could just tell. Who are you talking to on the computer? Um, Jared. It was just Jared. Seems like you and Jared are spending more time together. I've always said he's a great friend for you. Yeah, really great. <laughs> I'm proud of you, honey. Putting yourself out there. Thanks. Well. I'm leaving, but I left money on the table. Order whatever you want, okay? I thought we were doing tacos tonight? Looking at the essay? It's Tuesday. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, honey, I completely forgot. Shit. That's okay. Um, no, you know what? All right, you should go ahead and take a look at the questions without me, and then if you have any ideas, you can email me, and I can write back any ideas I have. That's better anyway, isn't it? That way you can really, you know, take your time. Yeah, I know for sure. All right, we can do tacos another night, Evan. Okay. We can do tomorrow night. How about tomorrow night? I can't tomorrow. I have a business. I'm late. Well, but you All should right. go. No, no. Let's figure this it's out. It's fine. I'll make dinner for myself. <laughs> Well, it's not like I'm... I mean, it's, it's, I'm, I'm not here all the time. Just two nights in a row. Well, it's just my mom and she works most nights, or else she's in class. Class for what? Uh, legal stuff. Where's your dad? My dad's... Uh, he lives in Colorado. He left when I was seven. So He doesn't really mind either. <laughs> your parents, they're really great. They can't stand each other. They fight all the time. Everyone's parents fight. My dad's in, like, total denial. He didn't even cry at the funeral. Your mom was saying gluten-free lasagna for dinner. That sounds really... Inedible? <laughs> <laughs> you're lucky that your mom cooks. My mom and I would just order pizza most nights. Well, you're lucky you're allowed to eat pizza. You're not allowed to eat pizza? Well, we can now, I guess. My mom was Buddhist last year, so we weren't allowed to eat animal products. <laughs> she was Buddhist last year, but not this year? Yeah, that's sort of what she does. She gets into different things. For a while it was Pilates. Then it was The Secret. <laughs> then Buddhism. Now it's free range, omnivores, dilemma, whatever. It's cool that she's interested in so much different stuff. She's not. That's just what happens when you're rich and you don't have a job, you get crazy. <laughs> well, my mom always says... My mom always says it's better to be rich than poor. <laughs> well, your mom's probably never been rich then. Yeah, you've probably never been poor. Oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. That was, so, that was, that was completely crude. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I didn't realize you were actually capable of saying something that wasn't nice. I'm not, I don't say things that are nice. I don't even think things like that. Really, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I was impressed. You're ruining it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you really don't have to keep saying that. <laughs> you want to say it again, don't you? Very much so, yes. <laughs> I know. Hey, why did he say that in his note? Because there's Zoe, all my hope is pinned on Zoe, who I don't even know and who doesn't know me. Why would he write that? What does that even mean? Um, I mean, I, I don't... Well, maybe. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is definitely it, but um, he always thought that that maybe if you guys were closer, we weren't close at all. No, no, exactly. And so he always used to say that um, he wished that he was. Um, he wanted to be. So you and Connor, 
You guys would talk about me? I mean, so, sometimes, because like if, well, if he, if he brought it up, I never brought it up, obviously, why would I have brought it up? He's, <laughs> he thought that you were awesome. He thought I was awesome? My brother? Definitely. How? Well, well, um, okay, okay. Like, whenever you have a solo in jazz band, um, you, you close your eyes, you probably don't even know you're doing this, but you get this, this half smile, like you just heard the funniest thing in the world, but it's a secret and you can't tell anyone about it. But then, also the way that you smile at the same time, it's, it's like you're letting us in on the secret, too. Uh, he said, there's nothing like your smile, sort of subtle and perfect and real. He said, you never knew how wonderful that smile could make someone think. And he knew whenever you get bored, you scribble stars on the cuffs of your jeans. <laughs> and he noticed that you still fill out the quizzes that they put in those teen magazines. But he kept it all inside his head what he saw he left unsaid and though he wanted to he couldn't talk to you he couldn't find a way but he would always say if i could tell her tell her everything i see if i could tell her how she's everything to me But we're a million worlds apart And I don't know how I would even start If I could tell her Note. And though he wrote to you, he couldn't even say it to me. He wanted to, you know? He just... he couldn't. Did he say anything else? Uh, about you? <laughs> never mind. No, 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 You know, see, he said so many things, I'm just trying to remember the best ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He thought you looked really pretty, or er, it looked pretty cool <laughs> when you put indigo streaks in your hair. He did. <laughs> um, and he wondered how you learned to dance like all the rest of the world isn't there. But he kept it all inside his head. What he saw, he left unsaid. If I could tell her, tell her everything I see. If I could tell her how she's everything to me.
Hey, asshole, aren't you going to say anything? Is that a button with Connor's face on it? I'm selling them for a nominal fee at lunch tomorrow. You're making uh, money off of this? Well, I'm not the only one. Haven't you seen those wristbands with Connor's initials on them that Sabrina Patel started selling during free period? Or the t-shirts Matt Holzer's mom made? What am I going to do about Zoe? Are you kidding? After last night, you can never walk into that house <laughs> again. Besides, this old Connor thing, in another few days, it'll be played out anyway. But you just said about those t-shirts and the wristbands. Well, exactly. We're at the peak, which is why I gotta move these buttons before the bottom drops out in the Connor Murphy memorabilia market. Because pretty soon there'll be some third world tsunami to raise money for, and then Connor will just be that dead kid whose name no one remembers. You don't know that for sure. Hey, at least it was fun while it lasted. You got to have some quality time with your big family and snuggle with Zoe Murphy. That is, that is not why I was doing it. I was trying to help them, okay? I just, I just wanted to help them. Regardless, bro, it's over. A week from now, everybody will have already forgotten about Connor. You'll see. Everybody has forgotten about Connor. <laughs> A week ago, the whole school was wearing those wristbands and buttons with his face on them. People were talking to each other that had never talked to each other before, and now it's all gone, completely. You are his best friend. You can't let this happen. I know, but... Maybe you could ask Zoe to do something, or maybe you guys could do something together. Zoe? Yeah, she's the perfect person to help get people interested again. She was literally his sister. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I don't know if that's the best way for us to get people to remember him. Well, I can guarantee you, if you don't do something, then no one will remember him. Is that what you want? But I'm just trying to... What am I supposed to do? Why don't you talk to Zoe? I, I can't talk to Zoe. I already ruined everything with Zoe. Says who, Jared? Why are you even talking to Jared about this? Who else am I supposed to talk to? You can talk to me. Uh, unless you have other options. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Look, Zoe, my parents, they need you. You are the only person who can make sure everybody doesn't just forget me. Oh right, they already did. After two whole weeks. And once they've forgotten about me, what do you think happens to you? I mean, nobody cares about people like us. People like us? Connor Murphy, the kid who threw a printer at Mrs. G in the second grade, or Evan Hansen, the kid who stood outside a jazz band concert trying to talk to Zoe Murphy, but his hands were too sweaty. <laughs> you know, people like that. Look, guys like you and me, we're just the losers keep waiting to be seen, right? I mean, no one seems to care or stops to notice that we're there, so we get lost in the in-between. But if you can somehow keep them thinking of me and make me more than an abandoned memory, well, that means we matter too. It means someone will see that you then, no one deserves to be forgotten. No one deserves to fade away. No one should come and go and have no one know he was ever even here. No one deserves to disappear. To disappear. Disappear. It's true. And even if you've always been that rarely in the background kind of guy, you still matter. And even if you're somebody who can't escape the feeling that the world's passed you by, you still matter. If you never get around to doing some remarkable thing, that doesn't mean that you're not worth remembering. Think of the people who need to know they
project. The Connor Project. A student group dedicated to keeping Connor's memory alive, to showing that everybody should matter. Everybody is important. I am so honored. I would love to be vice president of the Connor Project. <laughs> vice president. You're right. We should be co-presidents. Uh, yeah, no, definitely. That works for me. You can be treasurer or secretary. Unfortunately, the co-president position has already been filled. Well, shit. I guess I'm gonna have to order new buttons. Unless you think I can squeeze the words Connor Project onto the old buttons. I mean, depending on the font. No, no, no. Size. Do you actually think that we should do this? Are you kidding? Evan, we have to do this. Not just for Connor, for everyone. Cause no one deserves to be forgotten. No one deserves, no one deserves to be Calling it the Connor Project. The Connor Project. Imagine a major online presence. With links to educational materials. A massive fundraising drive. To help people like Connor. And for the kickoff event, an all-school memorial assembly next week. Students, teachers, whoever wants to can get up and talk about Connor. Talk about his legacy. I don't know what to say. I didn't realize Connor meant this much to people. Oh my god. He was one of my closest acquaintances. <laughs> he was my lab partner in chemistry, and we presented on Huck Finn together in 10th grade. He was so funny, he kept calling it, well, instead of Huck Finn. <laughs> Nobody else in our class thought of that. <laughs> For the assembly, I was thinking, I was thinking maybe the jazz band could do something. Oh, yeah, maybe. Great idea, Evan! Thank you, Tara. Oh, <laughs> Evan, this is just, this is wonderful. No one deserves to be forgotten. No one deserves to fade away. No one deserves to disappear. No one deserves to disappear. No one deserves to disappear. Saturday. I took him to get a suit, shirts, tie. He didn't get invited to a single one. I thought you could wear this for your speech. You know what? Alana said that anyone who wanted to would have a chance to say something tomorrow. I think we all assumed that you'd be the first to sign up. Oh, well, I don't. I'm Sorry, just the thing is, I don't really do very well with um, just with public speaking. I'm, I'm not very good at it. You wouldn't want me to, trust me. Of course we would want you to. I'm sure the whole school wants to hear from you. I know Larry and I do. And Zoe. Think about it.
Digest. We'd like to say a few words to you today about my best friend, Connor Murphy. I'd like to tell you about the day that we went to the old Autumn Smile Apple Orchard. Uh, Connor and I, we stood there under an oak tree and Connor said he wondered what the world would look like from all the way up there and so we decided to find out. We, we started climbing slowly, one branch at a time. When I finally looked back, um, we were already 30 feet off the ground. Connor just looked at me and smiled that way he always did. And then, um, um, that, um, um, that, then I fell. Um, I, just, I, I lay there on the ground and, uh, good morning students and
None of us are alone. Like, well, especially now. Everything you hear is like sharing the most. Thank you, Evan Hansen, for giving us the space to remember Connor. Time to get to find each other. She's in the prayers for Michigan. Oh, damn, the Sacramento. Thank you, Evan. 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 Thank you, Website. Thank you for checking out the awesome new videos we put out this week with Mr. and Mrs. Murphy, Connor's and sister Connor's Shelley. best friend and my co-president, Evan Hansen. As you know, Connor's favorite place in the entire world was the incredible Autumn Smile the Apple The stunning orchard. Autumn Smile Apple Orchard, which tragically closed seven years ago. Connor loved trees. Connor was obsessed with trees. <laughs> Me and Evan used to spend hours together sitting at the orchard, looking at the trees, being with the trees, and sharing fun facts they knew about the trees. But the one thing Connor wished more than anything was that someday the orchard would be brought back to life. Which is where you come in. Because today we are starting a major One Kickstarter campaign. One of the most campaign. ambitious Kickstarter initiatives since the internet was first created. <laughs> to raise, gulp, $50,000. $50,000 in three weeks. It's a lot of money, I know. But it's also a lot of amazing. So, let's do it, guys. And, and make, make the Connor Murphy Memorial Orchard not just a dream, dream but, but a reality. Friendship we have, a part of this awesome friendship we have, this adorably heartwarming friendship. 
Story. I was his only friend, okay? You know that. You can't just make things up. You need to redo it. <laughs> You're totally right. I mean, what was I thinking? Just making things up in a completely fabricated email exchange that never happens. Just don't change the story, please, okay? Well, if you want me to redo this email, you're gonna have to wait until Monday because I have plans all weekend with my camp friends, or, as I like to call them, my real friends. Yeah, actually, I think we're good on emails for now. We're kind of focusing on bigger stuff, the orchard, things like that. Oh, well, I can definitely do more with the Kickstarter. I mean, I am the treasurer. I think Alana and I are pretty much set on that. I'll let you know if I think of anything, though. Got it. Hey, but Zoe's happy your cast is gone. I guess. I mean, talk about killing the mood, right? <laughs> Having to see your brother's name written on your boyfriend's arm every time you're in the middle okay, of... Okay, just not, okay, please. Zoe and I are not... We're not telling people about, you know, us. Don't even worry about it, bro. The only thing you should be worrying about right now is building that orchard for Connor. Because if there was one thing about Connor, the guy loved trees. <laughs> or no, wait. You love trees. That's weird. Isn't that weird? Guess I shouldn't tell anyone about that either, don't you think? What do you have to? Nothing much. I feel like every time I walk into your room, you can close your computer screen. Not really. I don't know what you do on there that you don't want me to see. I was doing homework, Mom. Do you have a minute? Actually, um, I was just about to go to Jared's. Didn't you go to Jared's last night? Well, we're doing a Spanish project together. We're going to be working late again, though, so I'll probably just um, stay over. Saw the strangest thing on Facebook today. Oh, really? Yeah, this was uh, this was a video <clears throat> from the uh, something called the Connor Project. You heard of that? Because their website it says that you're the president. <laughs> Call president. <laughs> well, this was uh, this was a video of you doing a speech about that boy Connor Murphy. Yeah, how you, how you, how you climbed a tree together. I just, um, that's, uh, I don't. Uh, you told me you didn't know him. Yeah, no, 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 I, I know. But, but then in your speech, you said he was your best friend. Well, because, because it wasn't true when I, when I said I didn't know him. So you broke oh. your arm with him at an orchard? See, you told me you broke your arm at work, at the park. Well, who do you think drove me to the hospital? Who do you think waited with me in the emergency room for three hours? You were at work, remember? I couldn't even... You didn't answer your phone? No, you told me your boss took you to the hospital. Well, so I lied, obviously. Well, so when were you planning on telling me any of this, or, or, or you weren't? When would I tell you exactly? When are you even here? I'm here. Right now. Okay, one night a week. Well, most people, their parents, they try to do just a little better than that, just so you know. Yeah. Well, listen, oh. I'm lucky for that. I have to go to Jared's. Oh, I don't think I want you going out right now, actually. I told Jared to be like 10 minutes right, ago. Listen, I'm missing class tonight so that I can oh. be here to talk to you. Evan, I would like you to please just, 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 just talk well, to like me. Like, I just not to work for school because you decided to miss class. I can't just stop everything whenever you decide. It's convenient for you. I don't understand what's going on. Nothing. Nothing is going on with me. You're standing in front of the school giving speeches. You're president of a group, Evan. I don't even know who that person is. You're making a big deal out of Sorry, man, isn't a big deal. What's going on with nothing. you? No, nothing. Nothing is going on with me. You just yeah, I know. I just did. I told you everything. I'm your mother. I'm your mother. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I don't know why. I'm happy. I'm happy you had a friend, sweetheart. I'm, I'm so sorry he's gone. I, I just wish I could know this. Well, if you ever want to talk I about should go. You okay on refills? I'm not, um, I'm not taking them anymore. Oh? I haven't needed them. Really? So, no anxiety or even with everything? Is... I, I've been fine. Well, great. <laughs> That's great. I'm proud of you. I guess those letters to yourself must have really helped, huh? I guess so. Well, don't stay up too late. It's a school night. I won't. <coughs>
Brooks Robinson, Jim Palmer. Here's the entire 96 team. Look at that. Wow. You get the right people to come to an auction like this, baseball fans, you can raise a thousand bucks for the orchard. Easy. No, it's, it's a great idea. I'm definitely going to talk to Alana about it. I swear I've got a cow ribbon in here somewhere. This is really generous of you to donate all this stuff. Mom says that your show's on. She doesn't want to DVR it again. Tell her we're busy. With what? Your dad had a great idea for the orchard to do an auction. Evan's helped me go through my collection here. Dad, are you torturing him? Uh -huh. Evan, is he torturing you? No. What? You can tell him he's being boring and that you want to leave. He won't get upset. Well, he can leave anytime he wants. I don't want to leave. Evan, do you want to leave? If you want to leave, I don't want to leave. Okay, well, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> <laughs> Women. <laughs> right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> so you and Zoe, that's. No, it's nice. This glove is really cool, wow. <laughs> you feel how stiff the leather is? Yes, for sure. Never been used. You probably have your own glove at home, I'm sure. Oh, uh, yeah, somewhere. I don't really know the fit to be anymore. It's been a while. Well, you know what? Why don't you take this one? Oh, no, no. No, I, no, I couldn't. <laughs> Why not? Because it sounds like, I mean, I mean, if you need a new glove anyway, this one's just going to sit here collecting dust. Are you sure? I bought this glove thousand years ago for some birthday or some Christmas that has come and gone <laughs> thought we might play catch or nah, I don't know but he left it in the bag with the tag still on you have to break it in though first you can't catch anything with it this stiff uh, how do you break it in? your dad never taught you how to break it in baseball? I guess not well it's all a process that is really quite precise. A sort of secret method known to very few. So, if you're in the market for professional advice, well, today could be a lucky day for you. It's shaving cream. Shaving cream? Yeah. You rub that in for about five minutes. Then you, 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 you tie it all up with rubber bands, and you put it under your mattress, and you sleep on it. And the next day, you repeat. Now you gotta do this for at least a week every day. Consistent. And though this method isn't easy, every second that you spend is gonna pay off. It'll pay off in the end. It just takes a little patience. It takes a little time. A little perseverance. A little uphill climb. You might not think it's worth it. You might begin to doubt. But you can't take any shortcuts. You gotta stick it out. And it's the hard way, but it's the right way. The right way to break in a glove. And nowadays, with your generation, I hate to say it, it's all about instant gratification. Right? Who wants to read a book when they can read the Facebook instead? Totally. Or <laughs> something like this. You gotta be ready to put in the work. Make the commitment. What do you think? I mean, definitely. <laughs> Some people say just use a microwave or try that running through hot water technique. <laughs> well, they can gloat about the time they save till they gotta buy another glove next week. Well, it just takes a little patience. It takes a little patience. It takes a little time.
daughter was really lucky to have a dad that um, a dad who who cared so much about taking care of stuff. Your dad must feel pretty lucky to have a son like you. Yeah, he does. Good. Well, if you want to go catch up with Zoe. I don't, um, I don't know why I said that about my dad. That's, um, that is not true. My parents got divorced uh, when I was seven. My dad went to Colorado, and he and my stepmom, they have their own kids now, so that is sort of his priority. Shaving cream, rubber bands, mattress, repeat. Got it? Got it? <laughs> it's the hard way, but it's the right way. The right way to break in a glove. <laughs> You're good to go. She has class Sunday nights, so she will not be home for another few hours. We have the whole house to ourselves? You know it. We should throw a kegger. We should definitely throw a kegger, for sure. Until your mom gets home. In three hours! <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you for coming. You realize I've been asking to come to your house for like weeks, and every time you've immediately said no. Yeah, I know, I know. Which is why I appreciate that. You're here now. What are all these? Oh, those are just my mom is obsessed with these college scholarship essay contests she found online. She keeps printing out more of them. So yeah, I know. I'd have to win probably like a hundred of them to actually pay for college when you add it all up. Tuition, housing, books. Your parents, they can't. No. Not really. I'm sorry. Well, well, hey, I meant to tell you before, we had a meeting with the Connor Project a few days ago. I think we have a great strategy for raising more money for the orchard. Can we talk? <sighs> Shh. What? No, it's just you're breaking up with me, right? That's why I came over, so... <laughs> breaking up with me? I know, right? How, how presumptuous can I get? I don't even know if we're, like, dating officially or whatever, which isn't even... You know, what's cool. Why am I even talking right now? Don't worry, you can tell me. Go ahead. I'm not gonna cry and, like, start breaking things. So. I'm not breaking up with you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> People might think that it's that it's not respectful of Connor's memory for us to be, you know, happy. No, I know, I know. But 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 think about it from their perspective. I mean, I was his best friend. You were his sister. Yeah. So when do we get to be more than that? It's just because my entire life, everything has always been about Connor, and right now I just want. I need something that's just for me, okay? I don't want this relationship to be about my brother, or the orchard, or the emails. I just want... You. I don't need you to sell me on reasons to want you. I don't need you to search for the proof that I should. You don't have to. Scared you're not enough Cause what we've got going is good <laughs> I don't need more reminders of all that's been broken I don't need you to fix what I'd rather forget Clear the slate and start over <laughs> Try to quiet the noise Compete with all that. 
decisions to not let me go. But if you really see me, if you like me for me and my things, well, that's all that I've wanted for longer than you could possibly know. So it can be us. are really, uh, just, they're private. <laughs> Not anymore. They belong to everyone now. I mean, that's the whole point. The more private they are, the better. That's what people want to see. We have a responsibility to our community to show them everything, to tell them the truth. Our community? I'm sending you a list of questions to answer because some of the emails don't make sense. Like, well, you've been telling everyone that the first time you went to the orchard was the day you broke your arm. But then in other emails you talk about going there together since last November. Okay, well that's just because um, those are probably just typos, okay? And it sounds like it sounds like you're reading into them, like, way too much. Well, you can explain it all when I send you the questions. You know how much the community loves hearing from you. Hey, so, uh, my parents are out of town this weekend. The last time they used a liquor cabinet was like Rosh Hashanah 1997. So, we can drink whatever we want. Yeah, I can't this weekend. I have $17,000 to raise. You remember the Connor Project? You're supposed to be working on this. Uh, remember you told me you didn't need my help? Well, I didn't tell you to do nothing. Look, I know that you think it's all a big joke, okay? But it isn't. It's important. For Connor? Yeah. You know, when you really stop and think about it, Connor being dead, that's... Pretty much the best thing that's ever happened to you, isn't it? That's a horrible thing to say. No, but think about it. If Connor hadn't died, no one would even know who you are. I mean, people at school actually talk to you now. You're almost popular, which is just wonder of wonder, miracle of miracles. <laughs> I don't care about any of that, okay? I don't care if people at school know who I am. All they wanted was to help, help the Murphys. Yeah, I know. You keep saying that. Hey, Jared. Hi. Hi. Look at you, helping the Murphys. What's that? It's nothing. <laughs> Paralegal. You're kidding! Oh, I have no idea! Aren't you all 
always we were always my firm were literally, literally always looking for a new paralegal. Let me give you my card at least, and then when you graduate, you should. That's a great idea, Kismet. You don't have to do that. It's Kismet. Thank you. Is Red okay, Heidi? Oh, Red's great. Thanks. It's from a vineyard just outside Portland, completely 100% sustainable. The entire production process. They had a whole feature on them in the New York Times. Incredible. Not to mention, it tastes good too. Cheers. Cheers. I'm so glad you called this morning. I, I, I've been agonizing over whether I should, if it was appropriate for me to reach out. Oh, hi. We have two. And the justice, you're so busy, I didn't want to bother you. Uh, I'm not that busy. I asked Evan if you mind him staying, spending so much time here. He said it wasn't a problem because of your schedule with classes and work. He spent so much time here? No, I think it's been real. It's been a, a great source of comfort for us these last few months. Well, he and Connor, they were very close. I, uh, I, I have to admit, I really had no idea. No, we were the same. Boys love to keep secrets. <laughs> <laughs> we never heard about Evan. We, we never met him. But Evan didn't tell me anything. Secret handshakes, secret tree houses. Sorry we're late. Band went long again. We're just in here enjoying a glass of wine, getting to know each other. We invited your mom to come join us for dinner tonight. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't realize that Evan was them, that you would be joining us. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't think to tell you. Uh, hi, I'm Zoe. It's so nice to finally meet you. Oh, good. <laughs> hey, did you know about this? Yeah, it was my idea. Well, why don't you guys come sit down? I thought that you were working tonight. Well, this seemed more important, so I'm playing hooky. <laughs> we were just talking about how sneaky you and Connor were top secret. Something smells good. Chicken milanese. <laughs> I didn't realize you were spending so much time here. You've been working a lot. Why did I think you were always at Jared's? I don't know. <laughs> Evan, you call and tell your mother when you're spending the night, right? Of course. You can rest assured we take very good care of him. We've got the, he's got his own toothbrush, so we're not sending him to bed with cavities. <laughs> oh, nice. Evan, you're showing me all of the scholarship contests that you found. It was really impressive. There are like a million. <laughs> Evan is a great writer. I don't find that hard to believe at all. His teacher last year for English said he wrote one of the best papers she'd ever read about Sulu. <laughs> How about that? It's a Sula? What'd I say? Sulu? Okay. <laughs> Sulu's a character on Star Trek, I believe. Oh, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> My mistake. Speaking of scholarships. I guess now's a good time as any. Um, Cynthia, do you want to? Zoe had mentioned to us the other day that Evan was having some difficulty in terms of the financial burdens of college. Larry and I started thinking about it, and we were very fortunate to have been able to set aside some money for our son. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm okay. I called you this morning to invite you to come join us for dinner tonight, Heidi, because, well, first of all, because we want to thank you for allowing your son to have come into our lives. He was a dear, dear friend to our Connor. We've just come to love him to pieces. And with your blessing, we would like to give Evan the money that we put away for our son so that he can use it to fulfill his dreams just like he helped Connor fulfill his. What do you think? such a gift to us if we could do this forever. It would be a tremendous gift. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> but we're going to be just fine. I mean, I don't have a lot of money, but I do oh, have no, no, I can, no, 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 I, I understand. It's just that we do have money. So I'm sorry that you were under the impression that we didn't. And uh, whatever money we don't have, Evan will either get a scholarship or he'll go to a community college. And that's done. Um, <clears throat> 
you know, I think that's the best thing for us to do. You know, I don't want Evan to get the idea that it's okay to rely on other people for favors. Well, it's not a favor. <laughs> well, but as his mother, I need to set that example for him, you know, that you can't expect things from strangers. We are not strangers. So, so maybe the only reason you talk to me, Jared, is because you don't have any other friends. I could tell everyone everything. Okay, Quick, you go ahead, do that. Tell everyone now. You helped write emails pretending to be a kid who killed himself. Fuck you, Evan, asshole. This cross your mind to be slightly sorry. Do you even care that you might be wrong? Was it fun? Well, I hope you had a blast. Why did you drag me along?
about doing this one, Doug? You can't just stop now. I don't think I can live with this anymore. What about my parents? No more emails. How can you do this to them? No more Connor Project, no more Orchard. After everything they've done for you, they need you. Need me for what to keep lying to them? That lie is the only thing that's keeping them together. That's not, that's not true. Oh, really? So they seem like a pretty happy family when you met them? I don't want to lie anymore! And what about Zoe? Zoe said she just... She wants me. Right. Yes, yes, she likes me for who I am. Except you didn't happen to mention that everything you've told her, it's all been one big fucking lie, did you? Oh, you left that part out. So then what if... Um, what if I did tell her the truth? She'll hate you. No, 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 maybe she would understand. Maybe everyone would understand. Everyone will hate you. Not if I could just, not if I could explain it, right you know? where you started no, 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 Nobody, nothing, a I'm already done with it! really believe that, then why are you standing here talking to yourself? Again, you think you're going to turn around all of a sudden and start telling everyone the truth? You can't even tell yourself the truth. What are you talking about? How'd you break your arm? How'd you break your arm, Evan? I fell. Really? Is that what happened? Yes! I was... I lost my grip and then I just... I fell, so... Did you fall? Or did you let go? You can get rid of me whenever you want. You can get rid of all of it. The Connor Project, the Orchard. But then all that you're going to be left with is you. Think about it. I've been a bad co-president, I know that, and I'm sorry, but you were right, okay? You know, you were absolutely right, and I'm back, and I'm and I'm rededicating myself to doing everything I can to make this work. So Too late, I moved on. You moved on? You made it abundantly clear to me that you're not very interested in being part of the Connor Project. Well, I can make more videos, okay? I'll write, I'll write, I'll write more stuff on the blog. I can do all that myself. It's not the same! You know it's not the same! You want to hear what I have to say, I was his best friend, so. You know, frankly, Evan, I'm starting to wonder if that's even true. What does that mean? You keep saying we were best friends. You're like a broken frickin' record about it, but nobody ever saw you together. Nobody even knew that you were friends. Yeah, it was a secret. He didn't want us to I talk about it. I know the school. story, Evan. We all know the story. We've all heard it a bazillion times. You've, you've seen the emails. Do you know how easy it is to create a fake email account? Backdate emails? Because I do. You know what? I don't have time for this. I have to raise $17,000. I can prove it. How? Here. If we weren't friends, then... Then why do you write your suicide note to me? Oh my god! You believe me now? Dear Evan Hansen. Nobody else has seen this. Turns out this wasn't an amazing day after all. This isn't going to be an amazing week or an amazing year. You can't show it to anyone, okay? Nobody else needs to see it. This is exactly what people need to see. We need something to create new interests. No, no, no. Can you just please delete it now? Don't you care about building the orchard? This is the best way to make Connor's dream come true. No, it's not! Dear Connor Project community, you put it on what? Connor's note is a message to all of us. Share with as many people as you can. Post it everywhere. You need to take it down, please! If you've ever felt alone, like Connor, please consider making a donation to the Connor Murphy Memorial Orchard. No amount is too small. Have people seen this? Connor Murphy's suicide note. This is the actual authentic. The whole world needs to see this. Share it with everyone you This is why the orchard is so important. I just guys. need $50 for the orchard, and I think everyone else should give as much as they can. Repose. His parents present themselves. He his suicide note to Evan Hansen because he knew his family didn't give a shit. His parents, by the way, are insanely rich. For share. Like, maybe they should have spent their money on helping their sons. Please retweet. Evan Hansen was the only one who's paying any to picture his shit forward. Like, all my hope is pinned on Zoe. Zoe's a stuck up bitch. I don't support her. Share. Like, Thank you.
what kind of effect. I love you guys. It would be our $200 over our mother. Their house is at the end of the cul de sac with the red door. So we spend the windows on the red. The gate to the back is completely cut. So we saw the lever and which was served. I think it's a whole hour. I don't know. I tried calling Rana, but she's not Some answering. Some of these are adults. Do you see their pictures? These are adults! Maybe let it ring, so. Hello? Who is it? Who is I it, Zoe? your miserable life. Bye. What's the number? It's blocked. Who cares? What did they say to you? It doesn't matter. Did they threaten you? It doesn't matter, Dad. Listen, I'm calling the police. Maybe right now the best thing to do is to wait and see this, if this blows oh, over. That's always your solution, isn't it? Just to do nothing? Wait, is that what I said? You guys just stop. Wait and see, wait and see right there. What are the police gonna do? It's the internet. They're gonna arrest the internet? I had to beg you every step of okay. the way. Hold on. I really think they're gonna I stop. I had to plead with you for therapy, for real. You were marching from one miracle cure to the next. Because all he needed was another $20,000 weekend. You're going to do a lot of you But it. you're all turning it other than picking apart everything that I did. Putting him on a program and sticking. No, you wanted to punish him. Listen to your daughter, Larry. You treated him like a criminal. Are you listening? Do you think you were any better? You let him do whatever he wanted. Thank you. When he threatened to kill himself the first time, oh, do you remember what you said? Sake. He just wants I'm not attention. Sit here and he was myself. getting better. Ask Evan. Tell him, Evan. Well, I shouldn't have Evan was in denial of everything that was happening. Leave the note, Larry. Read what he said. Everyone else in the world is reading it. I did the best I could. That everything was different. I tried to help him. He wanted to be different. He wanted to be better. He was trying to be better. He was trying. And he was failing. We failed him. No, you didn't. You didn't fail him. He wrote. He didn't write it. I wrote it. You didn't write her suicide note. It wasn't a. It was an assignment. That, um. From my therapist, write a letter to yourself, a pep talk. Dear Evan Hansen, today's gonna be a good day, here's why. I, don't think I was supposed to bring it to my appointment, but Connor took it from me, and I guess that he must have had it with him um, when you found him. What are you talking about? We weren't friends. <laughs> no, 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 no. I never meant to make it such a mess. I never thought that it would go this far. There were emails. You showed us the emails. So I just stand here, sorry, searching for something to say. <clears throat> something to say. What do you know about the orchard? He took you to the orchard. That's where you broke your arm. No, I broke my arm in Ellison Park by no, myself. No, That day at the orchard, you and Connor at the orchard. Words fail. Words fail. There's nothing I can say. <laughs> but you told me that you, that you would talk about me and that you would... How could you do this? I guess I thought I could be part of this. I never had this kind of thing before. I never had that perfect girl who somehow could see the good part of me. I never had the dad who stuck it up. No corny jokes or baseball gloves. No mom who just was there cause mom was all that she had to be. I know there is none. Nothing can make sense of all these things I've done. Words fail, words fail. There's nothing I can say. Except sometimes you see everything you wanted, and sometimes you see everything you wish you had. believe it's true. And so 
for you. You make it true. And you think maybe everybody wants it, needs it a little bit. You should. 
If you knew what I tried to do. If you knew who I am, how just broken I am. I already know you. And I love you. I'm so sorry. I can promise you someday all of this, it'll all feel like a very long time ago. I don't know. Your dad, do you, do you remember the day he drove over to get his things? It was, uh, it was a few weeks after he moved out. Temporarily, we said. February day when your dad came by before going away. The U haul truck in the driveway. The day it was suddenly real. I told you not to come outside, but you saw that truck. Live truck in your driveway. <laughs> we let you sit behind the wheel. Oh. 
Hi. Hey. How are you? Good. Pretty good. You graduate soon, right? In two weeks. Wow. How's being a senior? Busy. I remember that. <laughs> how's being a freshman? Oh, actually, I decided to take a year off, so... Oh. Yeah, just, just try to save some money, get a job. Um, I've been taking classes at the community college, so I'll have some credits to transfer in the fall. <laughs> That's smart. Yeah, we'll see. In the meantime, though, I can get you a friends and family discount at Pottery Barn. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking for overpriced home decor. <laughs> you know not okay, well, if you change your mind, I'm only working there a few more months, so the window of opportunity is closing fast. <laughs> I always imagine you and Connor here, even though, obviously. <coughs> this is my first time. I mean, I've I probably driven by it like a thousand times. It just, every time I think about getting out of the car, I feel like, I don't know, like I don't deserve to, I guess. It's nice. It's peaceful. My parents are here all the time. We do picnics like every weekend. It's helped them a lot, actually, having this. They never told anyone about Connor's, about the note, who really wrote it. They didn't have to do that. They could have told everyone what I did. Everyone needed it. For something. That doesn't mean it was okay. It saved my parents. It's weird. I uh, over the fall I found this thing, this this yearbook thing that my class made in eighth grade. Most people did like collages of their friends, um, but Connor's was a list of his ten favorite books. I've been trying to read all of them. Um, I know. I know it's not the same thing as knowing him. It's not at all, but, I don't know, it's something, it's been hard, it's, it's been a hard year, I know, I've been wanting to call you for a long time, I just didn't really know what I would say, um, so then I just decided to call you anyway, I'm happy you did, I wish we could have met now, today for the first time, me too. I should probably. Um, of course. Yeah. It's just exams are this week. No, 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 so totally. Can I just, um, can I ask you though? Why did you want to meet here? I wanted to be sure you saw this. Dear Evan Hansen, today is going to be a good day. I'm here for what? Because today, no matter what else, um, today at least you're you. So no hiding, no lying. Just you, and that's that's enough. Someday, everything that happens, uh, maybe it will all feel like a distant memory. Maybe, maybe someday no one will even remember about the Connor Project or me. But uh, but maybe someday some other kid will be uh, standing here, staring out at the trees, feeling so alone, wondering if maybe the world might look different from all the way up there. Is this better? <laughs> and and maybe he'll start climbing one branch at a time, and and he'll keep going. Even when it seems like he can't find another foothold. Even when it feels hopeless, like everything is telling him to, to let go. This time, maybe this time he won't let go. He'll just hold on. 
hold on. And he'll keep going? Keep going till he sees the sun? Thank mm -hmm. you.